This movie, we're going to look at what happens when you want to make changes to your projects that are set up with shared coordinates. So I'm going to look at two examples of changes. One is that I want to actually change the link that I'm using to represent one of my building files. So in a way, this can be similar to uh, a sort of design options. Now, um, it's possible to have design options turned on in the main file, but if we're actually swapping out the entire link, then it might actually be easier to just swap in a different version of the link than it would be to actually set up uh, design options for that. Now, if you're not familiar with design options, we actually have a course here at lynda.com on design options, and you're welcome to view that um, at your leisure. So let's go ahead and look at the process here of swapping out a different file. It's actually quite simple. You just simply need to go to Insert tab and click the Manage Links button. Locate the file that you want to change. So in this case, Building AA, I want to change to a different linked file. So I'll select it. And then down here, I'm going to choose the Reload From button. That will take me to a browse window. And I'm going to choose Building B instead. So I'll select Building B. I'll click Open and uh, it will load it in. And then when I click OK, you'll see that it will swap out building B in its place. Now, since um, I've loaded in a totally different file, what you'll notice is preserved the original positioning. However, um, it actually did not link it up automatically to the correct shared site. In fact, it says it's not shared. So the second step is to actually click the not shared button and then link this up with the correct instance of the site. Now, in this case, since building B has a copy of each of the saved sites, uh, we can actually choose the one that we want here, platform one in this case, and click OK. It won't move or change in any way, but it will just simply link it up with that platform one so that it understands where it belongs in the site. Now, if you look carefully at the location at platform one, you'll probably notice something else is amiss there. So um, the second modification that I want to make is what actually happens when the site itself changes. So uh, it's a little tough to see here in the elevation view. So what I'm going to do is switch to um, my site plan project north and kind of zoom in. And you'll notice that there's been a design change. Um, platform A has kind of moved and shifted slightly from its previous location. So in that situation, you actually want to take your linked file that's associated with platform A and, you know, move it and reorient it to the correct location. And to do that is actually pretty simple. You just simply repeat the steps that were used in the first place to put it there. So in this case, the align command will be the easiest way for me to achieve this. So I'll click the align command. So I'll align uh, grid one, and then in this case, that's actually going to line up with grid two in building B. And when I do that, it'll actually generate a warning. Now, if you read the warning, it's telling me that I've actually just moved a building that's associated with the saved site. And um, this is an ignorable warning. I can actually ignore this if I wanted to by clicking OK. Um, or the other option it's giving me is to save now. Now, what this means is if you've actually deliberately changed the definition of platform one, then it's telling you that you can go right ahead and save this to that file. Um, now, I'm actually going to bypass that for now and click OK for two reasons. One is that I haven't finished moving it yet. So if I move it again, it'll just generate the same warning and I'll have to save it again. Two is I want to be sure that this is actually the change I want to make before I go ahead with that saving. So I'll go ahead and click OK there, make my second alignment. Then I'll go back to my elevation view and make sure that it is still uh, lined up correctly here vertically. Now it is, but um, you're seeing that the terrain is kind of in the background there is kind of covering up part of it. So let's take a look at it in 3D. And you can kind of see that this excavation here is a little bit too deep for the terrain. So you might actually want to, you know, move that up a little bit. So to do that, I can go back to the elevation and I'm actually going to take the platform one level. And uh, it looks like if I just move that a couple hundred uh, millimeters, it should do the trick. So let me go 1300 and uh, press OK. Now let's try 1500. And actually, I could go just a little more, 1600. And that should do the trick. 
So now you can see that we've kind of moved that thing up. But notice that the link is still at the previous location. So one more modification, I go to a line, I select the new location of level one, and then locate the level line of building B. Now make sure you watch your tooltips here and make sure it actually says building B so that you're getting the right one. And then you'll see that thing move up. So at this point, you've now changed the location of platform one in all three directions. So you certainly would want to save that change and make it permanent. Now, if I select building B, you can see that it's still associated with platform one. So it hasn't lost that association. In order to save it, all you need to do is save your file. And if you do, it will prompt you the same way it did when we first set up shared coordinates. Or if I cancel this, the other place where you can save it is to go to insert and click manage links. Here I can select the link and notice that there's a checkbox in the positions not saved box. So it's kind of subtle, but this is Revit's way of letting you know that there's a pending save here, that you've made a change to that saved location, but it hasn't yet been made permanent. So down here, there's a save positions button that I can click and that will alert me that I need to save uh, building B, at which point I would go ahead and click this link to make the save permanent. So if you're ready to do that, you can go ahead and click save. And that's how you can not only swap out a linked file with another file, but that's also how you can actually change the definition of any of your saved positions after the fact. Now it's important to understand that once I save this, I'm saving position one for all of the linked files. So it would actually make that change across any of the files that had an instance of position one. And so later, if you swap out a different file in that location, it'll come in in the correct spot.